Hi, it's Kara with Argney Farms, and the heifer you see in the background, she's going to a new home today. Um, I don't know. She's approaching. She's like, are you guys taking me back to the field? Sorry, you're not going back to the field. You're going to somebody else's place today. So, the story behind that is... Um, Obviously winter's coming and hay, we need hay. And these heifers, as you saw in other videos, were causing a bit of chaos. So um, at this time, this heifer is being sold. Um, well, traded actually, technically. We're trading her for hay to help the other cows get through winter. And... Um, some piglets and cash. I'm not sure how much we'll get on video, but um, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do to get this this area ready for them to load her. And I'm not really sure. I think the piglets are gonna go in that lean-to too, so it's gonna be, it's just gonna be a wild chaos ride, but I'll touch base with you when I can. Sorry. So quickly checking in again. The guy's here dropping off the first load of hay that he's trading for the heifer. Um, he's came, he's looked at her, he's happy with her, which we knew he would be because she's perfect. <laughs> um, and now, there you go, see, electric netting. All right, so I can show you that I'm getting the electric netting up um, to run a, run a shoot so that we can put her in his trailer. The next time he shows up with the last of everything that's on the trade. Okay, so turning camera now. So, of course, the chickens decided to get themselves in here too. But we're, I've got this electric netting up going around here. Some of this is a shoot to get the cow in the trailer, and some of it is because we're trading her for some piglets, and we want the piglets to be stuck in this small area to start with. So this is the netting, it's going up and it's gonna shoot up into the driveway there. Um, sorry, if you hear me say ow sometimes, it's because I've got a bag on my foot due to breaking a bone in my foot. And yeah, so we've given her some, a nice bale of hay that the piglets will get to have once she's gone. And yeah, she's just chilling out, waiting to go. I'm not sure if this is Ebony or Eclipse, but because we have another Eclipse on the farm, we're just going to call the one that we kept Ebony. <laughs> so, I guess, by default, you are Eclipse, and you're one beautiful-looking cow. So they dropped the hay off at the top of the driveway because that's where me and Mike have decided that that's where we have room for it at this time. And, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens. They said it's good hay, but I don't think it's good hay. Oh, I'm a little disappointed. Anyway, so this is the hay they dropped off so far. And they, I guess Mike's going to have to get it into a nice row because it can't be just left sitting junky like that. And now the bales have been put in a nice line. Hi, so it's the next day and I didn't get loading the heifer on video for obvious reasons, but she's gone and the pigs are here and the hay was here. You saw that already. Um, well, there's a little bit more hay than you guys saw last time, but it's raining really, really heavily. So I'm in here. The piglets are not the size we expected them to be, but we're just gonna roll with it, I think, and no better for next time. Um, I wouldn't say we got a straight trade at all, or an even trade, I mean. But this is, here's the pigs. So there's this little guy. As you can see, they came covered in mud. Um, they're already a little less dirty than they were before. But there's that guy, and then there's these guys. So the two pinkish colored ones are burrows and they will be going to the freezer. And then the two red ones are females 
and they will probably be kept back to breed with our Cooney Cooney male. Um, this big red one that's standing in their food, um, she's she's a purebred red wattle. Um, these guys are red wattle crosses with, I think they said Yorkshire. Um, so, yeah, these, these pigs, as you can see, again, they're super muddy. Hopefully, hopefully being in a nice clean pack, they will quickly clean themselves off. We're doing the slop method for them because they are smaller than we expected. Um, and... It's just hard to get water in here. We might get them some extra water, but there's a lot of water in that slop. So <laughs> um, they're getting their adequate water. And we're giving them multiple rounds of water in that slop every day. So they're getting lots of water, but it's just kind of mixed with their grain. Um... They're all peeing now. See, they're getting adequate liquid because they're peeing. So, as I said, they're smaller than we anticipated them being, but they're already looking better than they did when they arrived yesterday. These photos were taken just after they arrived. So I'm hoping that's going to be success. They're enjoying the hay. And Mike has to fix this leak in the roof there. That's the piglets. Again, our trade was not exactly... We kind of got the losing end of the stick in the trade. But it serves us right for not going and viewing them beforehand, I guess. Um, hopefully they'll turn out right. So, I didn't say that they're too small to be put out in the big paddock, which is why that we have them locked in the lean-to. Um, and they have never seen electric fence either, so we're just going to slowly work on getting them out to the paddock. But again, it's pouring rain, so it's not even really worth it right now. They've got lots of space in here, and they're happy, I guess. I just dropped some grain right there that they're mowing down. Are you chewing on the fence? Hey, hey. They really like to chew on wood. So that concludes this video about trading the heifer for pigs and hay. Um, Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye. So in the last video, I said that this black hen had given up on her eggs, but I guess she was just off the nest when I came in. So there she is, sitting on the eggs. She's got quite a few under her, and hopefully we get more silky babies.